Hey guys, welcome back to The Poor Investor, where we're poor today, but investing for tomorrow's future. Today, I'm gonna bring to you five ways to save on how to build a rig, a new machine, a gaming PC, or just any components of a PC that you want to save money on instead of having to pay retail for it. And again, guys, this is not about stealing or robbing the truck or anything like that we're doing everything legitimately while we're doing that we're gonna try and see how much we can save now i'm not building out any new machines anymore even though i have been purchasing a lot in the past i have about five to six beefy rigs that i have set up i try to utilize that as much as i can because i already purchased it but in all honesty i may not even actually need them so this is one of those ways that someone else can benefit from my loss Today's topic is five ways to save on building a new computer. And when I say computer, it could be a gaming PC, rig, or anything else that you want to do with it. Of course, if you haven't seen my last video about five reasons why not to mine crypto, you can check that one out too. But if you do decide to mine crypto and you want to be on a budget build, then you should follow this video. I don't have money to buy or invest in a teleprompter so i will not be focusing all my attention at the camera unfortunately and i will have to refer to some of my notes and going to number one is plan and set a budget and of course that budget is how much you're willing to spend on a particular item or the whole computer in general before you begin building a new computer research and look at parts look at different companies vendors who's selling it who has it on sale all the other good stuff and then try to price it out pre-purchasing it and also factor in the taxes that are going to be on there or even shipping i know some places do offer free shipping when you spend a certain amount or you may even want to decide to go into a store and buy open box items micro center offers that a lot of times where they have open box deals but i've also seen on reddit where people complain that they don't have a micro center close to them and they would have to drive hours away please remember to calculate the gas usage on that that's a budget that you have to set for yourself this will help you avoid overspending and focusing on finding the best deals for the parts you require now i know rgb parts such as memory or you know fancy looking fans do tend to cost more than the average looking very dull no rgb lights on a memory stick or cpu fans just saying guys number two wait for sales and discounts of course the always famous is the black friday for electronics and also cyber monday but if you have noticed now especially this time sort of a recession but we're not in the recession people are holding back on spending on retail there is a lot more sales going on prices are dropping pretty much weekly to entice people to make these purchases brand new that's one thing you can actually wait for to benefit from all this because have you seen the prices of gpu dropping from what a 3090 ti used to cost to what a 4080 cost now and the difference in comparison is that the 4080 is if not better than the 3090 ti and actually a lot less than what it was to buy a 3090 ti a year or two ago seasonal sales you have a, a you, you can save significant amount by purchasing components during these sales okay additionally sign up for newsletters from retailers they always offer these promotions whether it's on instagram facebook whatever it is they always even try to give away stuff because they want to promote and that's how the marketing concept works right because the more people who talk about it that you know i got this for free more people want to jump on and actually participate in that and trying to get free things companies that sell these products uh, such as newegg micro center and you know msi and asus all these big brands are just trying to get people to jump on their website to promote it right there's always going to be like a giveaway that you can sign up for so unless you're like desperately needing to build a machine today and you can't wait i would say participate in all this stuff sign up for all the newsletter create a new email just for all this crap because you will be getting a lot of crap number three would probably be my best one that will be the best solution to saving money and that is going on to 
Facebook marketplace, reaching out to a friend, looking for those big YouTubers that have tons and tons of equipment. I mean, Red Panda Mining actually sent me a GPU uh, when I reached out to him and we were just kind of talking and he said he got a care package and I was like, wow, I was blown away. So that was pretty awesome. But you know, you can do that. You can go on eBay. You can look for deals anywhere practically. You can even reach out to your friend and say, hey, remember that 5900X that you purchased about two years ago? Are you plan to upgrade your PC or CPU and I can buy that off of you for you know a reasonable price but definitely not what they paid for retail two years ago which was like almost $600 and I'm talking about the Ryzen 9 5900X which I even had and I actually sold I bought two uh, during that time I was actually I purchased two 5900X to mine Raptorium and I've since stopped that and actually sold one of the CPUs as a complete build to a friend of mine. But of course, at my loss and their benefit, but that's how they got a deal. I was able to kind of get rid of it at the right time just so I wouldn't lose too much money. And, you know, that's how it always works out for uh, anyone looking to buy used equipment. But of course, that comes with a lot of danger with who you can trust and where you can buy Facebook marketplace may not be the best place for myself because I find it that the reputation of individual sellers are not always accountable and people can actually still trick you but you have to make sure and you have to do your due diligence and trying to do as much research on the actual user and his profile you can kind of tell if it's fake or not and also using payment systems where you can get refunded and you can fight those fraudulent charges selling things that they're not really sending it to you try to reclaim back your funds go to stores and see if they have open box items two places that i know off the top of my head does do that is best buy and micro center and these are actual physical brick and mortar stores that you can actually walk into other places such as newegg do offer open box items Amazon also does the same, but it may be a little more difficult to actually find these things, these items online because they can come and go so quick. But when you're in the store, open box items are literally sitting right in front of you and you can actually look at it and say, hey, it's in stock and I actually want that one because it's a lot cheaper than buying it brand new retail, which is sitting right next to it, which is probably maybe 15% or 10% cheaper than what the original retail price of it would be. Number four, you can actually choose alternatives that may be cheaper than the actual product that you're focused on. For example, is AMD processors are usually a little less expensive than the Intel equivalent. So that's similar in processing power and threads and all that other good stuff. Most likely the Ryzen AMD side would be slightly cheaper. That's more of a branding thing that also applies to memory and hard drives you get these fancy labeled hard drives that would cost 20% more than the same equivalent size one if you were to buy one off of eBay that has a lesser name or on Amazon whatever the case is you would probably save a lot of money from there as well and like I mentioned earlier there are RGB stuff like hard drives not hard drives actually motherboards memory CPU fans and PC cases all have these fancy lightings that and, and these liquid coolers that have all these fancy lightings that you may not really need because it's all for show and all for looks is basically pretty much like Fast and Furious <laughs> of PCs but they do the same thing they still drive and if not even faster and better even without all the fancy lighting and the extra cost that comes with that and number five, the top way to actually save money on building a new PC, if that's what you're looking for, unless you've been like trying to search for different components just to upgrade, usually buying bundle sets, motherboard, processor, and memory are a deal. They usually bundle it together. You save a decent amount of money on that. Micro Center, and I keep bringing back Micro Center because that is my go-to, right? I know a lot of you guys don't have it near you, but have you seen the deals that Micro Center has? I will probably splash some up right now that the combo deals, look for these deals on Slick Deals as well. I'm mentioning, I'm, I'm shouting them out. It's not like I'm getting paid to do that. I look at Slick Deals, I look at Ben's Bargain, and I'm pretty sure there's a decent amount of other 
websites that can guide you towards looking for these deals and slick deals for me is one of them and i i constantly look at it because i see like i'm in the market for a new keyboard and i was check and see who or what product or vendor actually has keyboards on sale fancy mechanical keyboards or the rgp keyboards for external hard drives specifically i don't want to deal with the whole internal stuff and i need something external because i want to back up stuff on the fly and i need it right away and I'll see who has it in stock and who has it available and who has it on, on sale, which is most important, right? You usually get the same people selling it, which is Amazon and Micro Center, Best Buy and B&H once in a while and a whole bunch of other companies that would have. And also they would list refurbs, right? So refurb is definitely a big thing if you want to actually look at saving money on buying retail parts. And that's definitely one way of doing it. Also, refurbs on eBay is a huge thing. If you're worried about warranties and you're worried about the longevity of it, then maybe don't use it to buy uh, hard drives. Maybe use the refurb portion of it to buy maybe a possibly a processor or memory because those usually last a little longer than you know hard drives because hard drives are constantly spinning and and they have a end of life that's a lot shorter than most components of a pc you're looking into a market of buying a pc case for all this fancy stuff then why not go with a refurb or a, a used one? It may have a little thing, it may have a little scratch, but if you get to check it out in person, now you have a, a better idea of what it actually looks like and there's no issues with it and you're saving money on top of that. Those are the top five ways to save on buying a new PC or building a new PC. My first suggestion would be to reach out to a friend that you know that has these parts or just you know a friend's friend in your social network and maybe they're trying to get rid of something that they don't need anymore whether it's a video card or a processor or the whole build probably if they're in an urgency to get rid of it because they're moving to another state and they'll be like i just can't bring all this stuff with me you may just land yourself a great deal even there so it has happened in the past to me and that's from my experience but these are the five things that i would do to save at all cost it's to avoid paying full retail price at any given store on top of that paying the taxes with it and you could have probably saved 20 30 percent more if you just had sourced it out pre-planned it before jumping the gun and just like hey i got all this money i just want to go spend it now all right i want to thank you guys for being here please remember to hit that like comment and subscribe and of course i'll be seeing you guys again really soon bye